that enable him to hurl fire, lightning, and telekinesis magical effects without spell casting, in addition to his wizard spells, keeps watch over all masked lords. Welcome back to another Realms Lore video, folks. I am here with Ed Greenwood, the original creator of the Forgotten Realms, and today we are talking about Wizards Ever Watchful, the watchful order of magists and protectors in Waterdeep in 1499 DR, which is about the current era of that D&D &D is playing in in the Forgotten Realms today. Ed, why don't you tell them a little bit about what you got to say? Sure. So, if you are using magic irresponsibly in Waterdeep, expect these guys to show up. If you are doing something else criminal and the city watch shows up, they are going to have one of these guys plus probably a novice, a runner, with them. And if it's like a hot night in Waterdeep and everything's breaking down, there's stuff going all over the city, these people will be all over the city too. Um, know your wizards before they kill you. Huh? So if you're enjoying this Realms Lore video, please consider stopping by patreon.com slash edgreenwood. Uh, the support from that Patreon actually is what allows us to continue making videos for you here. So uh, on that note, I would say watch your P's and Q's while in Waterdeep, lest the Watchful Order descend upon you, and enjoy this Realms Lore video. Waterdeep's Guild of Arcane Spellcasters has always portrayed itself as an arm of government authority to deflect fears of tyranny on the part of the citizenry. It remains nominally under the formal control of the Open Lord and the Blackstaff, its honorary head, but has its own Head of the Order, who exercises daily discipline and operating deployments of Order members. Taking office in 1486 and still in the chair today is the current Head of the Order, the soft-spoken, firm, fair, attentive to detail, Ogentra Summertain. She is a level-headed, gray-eyed woman in her fifth decade, a long-haired brunette who dresses simply and has no personal pride. She's dedicated to the safety of Waterdeep first, the preservation of the Order second, and cozening the eccentricities of arcane spellcasters a distant third, but is sympathetic to unhappy and unhinged brilliant wielders of the art, and will send agents to befriend and accompany grieving or upset Order members. She never seems to sleep or be caught undressed or harried or personally upset. Order members joke that she was born on duty and stays that way around the bells, that is, around the clock or at all hours. No one in the Order knows where she lives, as she has a personal gate linking a back closet in her office with her rooms in Mert's mansion, where she often confers with Laryl late at night, bare feet up on the furniture, over glasses of fire wine and leftovers that Laryl takes care to bring from the palace for her. She confers with a circle of four senior Order members, and the heads of these special teams over matters of policy, but acts decisively when it comes to operations, which is deployments of the passing moment. Order members like Bojentra, thinking of her correctly as being fair, just, and their protector in disputes with the palace and the populace. The Tower of the Order stands on the west front, the Street of Bells, five doors north of Buckle Alley and five doors south of Selda Street in Castle Ward. Recently renovated, it's a four-floor, stone-and-slate, miniature castle dominated by three conical-top towers, whose roofs now glow a gentle deep blue by night thanks to new preservative enchantments. The ground-floor rooms are largely reception rooms for interviewing the general public, and ready rooms for the patrols in reserve, but upper floor rooms are being redecorated with lounge chairs flanked by side tables and overhung by personal lamps for order members to relax in, as at a high-end club, and order members 
deeply appreciate this initiative of Bogentra. There are even snacks. Unless there's a magic trouble warning in current effect, the standard operating strength of the watch is four patrols on, that is, on the streets at any one time, per ward, with an additional four patrols in reserve at the order headquarters. Patrols in Trades Ward, Sea Ward, North Ward, and Dock Ward are doubled from sunset to sunrise. Field Ward and Undercliff aren't normally patrolled more than three times a day. These patrols are, of course, City Watch patrols, who can communicate with each other via horn calls. Every watch member carries a curved hunting horn at their belts, and the entire city knows the code of the calls requesting assistance and the like. Watch officers won't hesitate to blow their horns as they've learned the hard way that swift responses are often the only alternative to disaster. But each one is now, by recent policy enacted by Open Lord Laryl Silverhand and eagerly embraced by the Watchful Order leadership, Rank and the members are less enthusiastic, reinforced by one Order member and one Order novice, probationary member in training. These Order personnel go armed and garbed as they desire, but by a new Order rule, must wear the same helms as the watch. They can doff them instantly whenever desired, but must carry them and wear them otherwise. The probationary Order member may be sent as a runner to the headquarters of the order to deliver intel or an urgent request, if need be. In the event of trouble communicated to headquarters, one or two patrols are customarily sent out, and order members are contacted to formulate another patrol strength pair. The order usually soon runs out of probationary novices, so these reinforcements may both be full order members. A magic trouble warning indicates a wizard duel or a wizard going rogue with spells or some sort of mysterious magical effect that has alarmed the watch. The order will rush a team to respond of at least four and usually six or even seven if the report sounds interesting, order members, mages, accompany by a four-man hired order bodyguard detail, usually veteran adventurers, fighting types who may wield some magic of their own, and four paid order staff, trusted runners, all of whom are known by face and name to both the watch and the guard. These runners are used to report to the palace, Castle Waterdeep, the order headquarters, and to rouse order members from their homes or favored taverns and clubs if a greater order response is urgently needed. The Heavies. This is the internal order term for its five internal standing special teams, all named for whichever order member commanded them when they were first formed. Team Orvor, headed by the tall, irascible, Snapping brown-eyed blonde and beautiful Tantress Halogar, human female wizard 16, keeps constant watch over the magically powerful Water Davian noble house of Margaster. Team Nindara, headed by the taciturn, sad-eyed, and shaggy-bearded old Duvalathrim Harmantle, human male wizard 17, keeps constant watch over the magically power Water Davian noble house of wands. Team Kalvar, headed by the sour, sarcastic, gruff Elgovir Garconar, no male wizard 17, a trusted younger brother of the current matriarch of the powerful Garconar gnome family, Merthra, who's based in Athkatla, keeps watch over the walking statues the Dragon Ward, and the enchantments on the city gates and harbor chains, and all attempts to meddle with them. Team Othrim, headed by the world-weary, sardonic veteran ex-adventurer Thalvro's Double Spells Deathmar, 
human male, the Wizard 16, his nickname comes from having sorcerer-like well talents that enable him to hurl fire, lightning, and telekinesis magical effects without spellcasting, in addition to his wizard spells, keeps watch over all masked lords and anyone magically powerful or dealing in magic items that they have contact with. They have their hands full, even after Laryl's recent mind-dreaming purge, and are demanding more staff and a bigger budget, so far without result. Team Balestra is the highest ranking and most secretive of the heavies, and is nominally headed by Lavrina Talvrand, human female wizard 14, but she defers to the black staff. Vajra Safar is a full member, but drops in sometimes to take a hand in matters rather than attending daily. This team has traditionally kept watch over known dragons resident in the city, but now spends most of its time, attention, and efforts spying on Elminster and open Lord Laryl's doings and any spies they employ. The Balestras unwittingly provide Elminster with a lot of amusement, and he delights in fooling them with false play-acting to misdirect. Whenever Vajra flies into a rage over this that he becomes aware of, he gets some butter tarts from Ed of the Greenwood and has someone unexpected, like a night soil wagon carter passing Blackstaff Tower, present them to her. She has been known to weep with anger and curse him at the same time as she devours the tarts with mouth-watering delight. There are frequent attempts to infiltrate the Order by the Zentrum, by the Cult of the Dragon, and in recent years by wizards hired by both the Twisted Rune and by the Red Wizards of Thay. The Zentrum want to gain a political toehold among the Masked Lords so the trade route that is their bread and butter can come directly into the city with preferential treatment. They also work tirelessly to subvert various Waterdavian noble houses to try to gain such special treatment through having noble backers. The Cult of the Dragon try to get into the Order thanks to a false legend about a Dracolich being hidden in secret chambers within Castle Waterdeep. The remains they seek are actually the magically preserved, never undead and never animated, skeleton of Amonothra, a reclusive green dragon who died almost three centuries ago. Her remains were walled up in the castle by Kelvin Blackstaff because they are a hidden anchor for some wards of Blackstaff Tower. The Twisted Rune want unfettered access to Undermountain and all of its surface connections to draw on the magics they still believe are hidden there and also wouldn't mind ruling Waterdeep and drawing on the stream of wealth from its taxes from behind the scenes. So they also work on manipulating masked lords or placing their puppets within the lord's ranks. The Red Wizards of Thay want to rule Waterdeep from behind the scenes to gain a strong Sword Coast base for Zas Tam that will ultimately become his open reign as he establishes an empire that will stretch east along the trade routes to conquer Tezir, Westgate, Sembia, then Aglarond, and so form an unbroken chain with Thay itself. This is a folly dream, but Tam isn't known for seeing the world as it is, as opposed to the world as he wants it to be. Once he became Laryl's spymaster, Elminster decided to do the easy and obvious thing, infiltrate the lowest ranks of the Watchful Order, the On the Cobbles patrollers, with wizards loyal to him or to Azuth or Mistra, not so much as to gain influence over the Order as to keep closer scrutiny on what's going on within it so he can spot if any of the ongoing threats are gaining ground within the Order's ranks. These agents of Elminster include Belvar Jathselver, a surly, limping old wizard, human male Wizard 8, who has a wild talent he hasn't told the Order about. He naturally attunes to any enchanted item just by handling it for a minute without any limit at all on his number of attunements. He also 
forgot to tell the Order about some magic items from his personal collection. He's an ex-adventurer that he always wears or carries. A brooch of battle has the power of, of a wand of magic missiles plus automatic feather falling and fairy fire upon command. A gorget of strife has the powers of a wand of the war mage plus three. A ring of recall which can unleash two word of recall spells both keyed to return to a particular ledge and bench that serve as a way stop on one of the paths traversing the landward slopes of Mount Waterdeep and a rod of absorption. Hi, welcome to Realm Speak. And this time around we're doing this. And this, this time, is the monster Boulet. Yes, I know it's spelt Boulette. It's Boulet, because it's from the French. Boulet. These, I did not create these. These were in the game from the very first edition. The Boulet, or, you know, Land Shark, or... Mm -hmm. So, um, it's bad creature. You don't want to run into it. So, belay that Boulet. Welcome back to another realm... <laughs> there we go. I'm going to do that again. So, cluck, cluck, cluck. Um, Perfect. Kill it. <clears throat> baby, baby.